Hey, fishy people. I am... Um, going to make a long video today, cover a bunch of different stuff. First off, the competition. I'm going to say the competition is officially over. If you've already messaged me that you're in the process of making a video, continue to make the video. You know, it'll be part of the contest, but um, from now on, not receiving any new subscribers. Uh, sorry I was kind of flaky about this contest. I was going to do some updates and, and give more specifics. Never ended up happening. And it, it did run longer than the 300 subscribers, which was original, but, um, you know, that happens. Uh, I've been busy. Uh, the Grow Tank, uh, my power head, not this one, but, uh, this guy went out the other day. And it took me a few days to replace it, because I was just being lazy and didn't think it would matter much. This got super nasty and some slimy algae. You can see a little bit of it right there. I uh, got most of it out. Most of it just went away when I added the new power head. But I'm going to be doing a review on this. This is just um, Marine Lands Maxi Jet 1200, but it's the new, I guess it's not that new, but the, the pro version. So you can run it as, you can always run them both as a power head or a pump. But now they have a different impeller that goes in there and a different enclosure, which makes it that much easier to run it as a water circulator. And it really pushes a massive amount of water. Um, I want to say this was an old 1200, and when I say old, I mean very, very old. Many, many, many years, and it worked great for a long time, eventually went out, but uh, the newer ones really do push a lot more water, so I'm happy with that so far. I'll do a breakdown and show you the internals of that and how you can switch it around in just a little bit. Um, pick this up. I uh, will also got this for free at the shop. This is a 100-gallon hex. Um, some guy said, hey, you want a 100-gallon uh, you know, acrylic tank? And I said, heck yeah. Didn't realize it was a hex, but I think I'll have fun with that. This was a saltwater tank. It's not in the best condition. So today, I'm going to be spending a lot of the day cleaning this up. Um, I'm going to need some more of this because I bought this before having a big tank. But, you know, this is a one, two, three-step Novus polishing system. Works really, really well. Uh... So yeah, I'm probably going to be doing a short blurb on just polishing acrylic tanks because it's it's really not that difficult. And you can make an old nasty looking tank look really nice pretty quickly. Also got in some new fish. Um, I need to clean the glass here, but I've got the Bateniatas, which I believe I showed in the last video. Um, really need to clean this glass. Uh, but I, I want to do, after I clean this, some... Um, some close-ups of these. These are Aratus pencil fish. There's a bunch of different pencil fish. There's the Big 40, the Aratus. You got purple arcs, red arcs. Uh, I really like these guys. I like the angle that they hover at. They make a good dither fish. Um, they're just kind of cool looking. And then over here in this tank, again, I need to clean that up, but uh, these two guys, one there, one there, and I've got a few more in there. Those are licorice grommies, which are also really, really cool fish. Uh, kind of funny because they almost stay at the identical angle, angle as these pencil fish and look very similar. Um, um, more of the same over here uh, and in these two as well. I am picking up some checkered cichlids on Wednesday, which I'm really excited about. Uh, also going to be getting in some mosquito rasboras or chili rasboras, which I've been dying for and I never seem to be able to get in. And uh, there was something else on the list that I ordered, which I'm blanking on, which are also cool. Uh, maybe I'll think of that later. Need to clean this up. Uh, like I told you guys before, I'm running two of the, the quads up here. These are the Beams Works, uh, 3 watt Evos. I still need to get two more fixtures because this doesn't look bad. It's growing plants. Um, I don't like how dark it is in the front. Or if I move these forward, I don't like how dark it is in the back. So I'm going to get two more fixtures, two 30 inch duels to put right next to these guys. And uh, it's going to look phenomenal. You know, I, I put these ones over there just temporarily and it, it looked great. And these, these are doing great. Uh, these are the Evo Duels, um, 236-inchers for this tank, and I uh, just put these plants in, but the, the plants are doing real well. This Mario is growing like crazy. Put it in just a couple days ago. Uh, my shrimp are doing real well. 
I'm gonna have to zoom in for a macro of those eventually. Um, but yeah, there, there's a quick little intro, so I'm going to uh, get back to you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some of this tank today, show you how that goes, show you how I cleaned it up. Um, and I'm going to get back to you on more contest details. Again, it's over, but if you already messaged me and said that you're sending me a video, keep making the video. You've got some time, because I'm not judging it right away. I'm not judging it at all. My wife is judging it, but it's not going to be judged right away, so be patient, guys. Um, patience is a virtue. You know, I really don't appreciate people bugging me about timing and that and this, because this is a free contest. You're getting free stuff. I'm not going to jip anyone. Uh, so just, just be patient with that. Way too many baby Placos. Um, but yeah, uh, I this my whole fish room got really jambled up this past week. So I'm going to get this place cleaned up, and I'll, I'll be back. More details on all this stuff. And a better review on that, the Maxi Jet that I have over here. I'm actually picking up two more of those. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm using them as return pumps. I, I don't generally recommend people using a Maxi Jet as a return pump. They work really well, but if in the long run, you might as well just go with a dedicated return pump by Danner or something like that. Uh, but you know, for the price, you, you just can't beat them. They're like, I think we sell them at the shop for 32 bucks. And that compared to a $180 return pump, you know, big price difference. And they work, and you can change them to be a power head, you can hook them up to a sponge filter. Um, they just give you so many options that they're very, very convenient, cheap pumps. I like them. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hey, fishy people. Um, just a quick update. Uh, I've essentially finished all of the outside of this tank. Um, actually, I still need to do the Novus 3, but that's really just anti-static more than polishing or anything. It's still dirty, but uh, these are all coming out real great. It did take more time than I thought. Ended up going and getting... Uh, had some pretty bad scratches. So I went and got some sandpaper. I'm using 600 and 1500 grit because I couldn't find higher than that. Um, but doesn't seem to be a problem because I, I brought out my buffing wheel. And that with the Novus does a pretty good job pretty quick. Um, so it's doing well. Uh, I actually can not fit in here. I'm a pretty skinny guy. So yesterday I got in there and made sure I could fit. And I will be getting in there and doing the entire inside of this once I'm done with the outside. Uh, right now I'm taking a break because I have to actually go get some more Novus. Uh, when I bought those tiny bottles, I wasn't thinking about this tank because I didn't have this tank. So, definitely need to go get some more of that. Um, but I'll be back and I'll keep updating. Okay, fishy people. Um, might be a little loud in here because I can't turn my laptop off. I'm inside my tank. I've got a fan because it gets way too hot in here. Uh, sanded all of the surfaces. I'm about to buff them out. And, um, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so I've made an absolute mess in my room, but um, I'm done. Uh, I've gotten it to as good as I want to get it right now. There are still some scratches. Some of them are big. I'm just, I don't have the time to completely do every single scratch on this, but it's looking way better than it did before. Um, it looks a little hazy right now in this picture because... Well, I just, I, I haven't wiped it down with, like, an alcohol or something yet. Uh, and some of that's just the, the, the buffing compound. But it's nice and clear. I got the, you know, vast majority of the scratches out. I got the haziness out. Um, I got almost all of the big scratches on the outside out, which tend to be more apparent once the tank is filled. Uh, once the tank is filled, some of the ones on the inside you don't really see unless there's algae. I did get most of the ones on the inside out, but it was definitely more difficult because I don't like being crammed in there. Uh, it's hot, it's not comfortable, um, you know, you can't get to things. I, I needed some new sandpaper and it's like, I just, I couldn't get out because it, getting in there really hurt my chest. It's all scratched up because it's a, a real tight fit. So, um, there are still some small scratches on the inside. I'll just have to deal with that. I don't think they'll be very noticeable once it's filled. I'm about to fill it right now, and I'll show you what it looks like then. 
Okay, so I still need to do the final um, polish on the outside, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, you know, this is just my old DIY LED setup, but it looks nice. Uh, there's some stress fractures over here. I, I couldn't get those out. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I tried to actually fill that with um, with acrylic weld, and uh, it just didn't come out. Uh, by the way, that's not a scratch in the back. That's a power cord for my laptop or for my speakers. Um, but aside from that one side and those, those marks, it's looking pretty good. This one corner also has some similar marks. I uh, couldn't get those out. Just like I said before, they're kind of deep. I don't even know if they come to the surface. But um, I'm very pleased because this looked really terrible. And I really didn't think I'd be able to use it because it just looked real bad. And I didn't know if I wanted to restore it. Uh, at the same time, they were going to throw it in the dump and I couldn't see a tank being thrown in the dump, at least not a 100 gal acrylic. So I think I'm going to be happy with this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to get some, some nice big driftwood, but at the same time not too big because it's a small opening. You know, here's my hand. I'm really blown away that I fit inside this tank. Um, I must say, I, my, my chest kind of hurts because I had to really scrape up against the, the entrance to get in. But there's that tank. Um, I think I'm gonna use just one of these old DIY LED setups that I had because it fits perfectly on the top gap and um, seems like a lot of light for a tank like that. Lights it real well. So I'm excited. I don't know what I'm doing this. I, I'm thinking I might just do a 100 gallon shrimp tank. That doesn't sound too silly. Uh, not a shrimp tank, maybe a, a shrimp in like mosquito rasbora tank. Uh, ha, thinking about doing a big island in the middle. I'm going to just do sponge filters, which I'll probably hide in the island in the middle, which means there's going to be, you're not going to see anything in this. If it's a shrimp tank, I'm not probably gonna, even going to have a heater in it. Uh, so I'll just have airlines going in the corners, down the corner, uh, under the gravel, up to the islands. I'll have bubbles coming up out of there. Real low tech, real easy. I'm not looking to put a big filter on this or anything. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm stoked. Here's that project done. Still need to clean up a bit. I don't know if you can see, but I've got... Uh, before I put this stuff up, and this is why I put it up, I, I got spatter just everywhere uh, on my computer, on all of this. Uh, I need to clean up from the project. You know, I got rags everywhere and stuff. Ended up finishing the project off with um, Mother's pa Power Plastic because I didn't want to go drive to my plastic store. It's a little further away, and I've got a ton of car stores near me. This is a one part versus the two part of the Novus. Novus is actually three part, but I'm, I'm thinking this is a two part. It takes care of the three and the two. The one's a separate deal. I still probably gonna do the one on the outside, although it looks fine without it. Um, yeah, the Novus I like a little better. I think it works a little better, but at the same time, you do have to apply the three and then the two versus this, which is just the one. This leaves slight swirl marks, whereas the Novus did not. Uh, by slight, very slight, um, pretty much non-noticeable. Uh, non, not noticeable once once the tank is filled. Um, so you know, it, it works. You don't need to go get Novus. I realize that Novus, you can order it online real easy. Some places carry it it's a lot easier to find something like this. And there's a bunch of different products like this uh, at most car places. By the way, don't go to a hardware store if you're looking for supplies. I made that mistake the first time. They don't carry sandpaper and a high enough grit. They don't carry things like this. Uh, they didn't have buffing wheels at my local hardware store, which kind of blew me away, or at least not the type I liked. But most car stores or automobile repair places like Rabies or O'Reilly's, uh, they carry all this stuff. So that, that's my first stop. 
my, my first recommendation would be to go to a place like that if you don't have a specific plastic place around you. Okay, I, I'm gonna continue with the um, the Powerhead review. Just just real quick, I this is a uh, Hydor Coralia. We've got another Hydor Coralia over here. If you're just looking for a water circulator, I highly recommend Hydor Coralias. They're great. They stick on with a big suction cup and then a magnet on the other side. They're not gonna fall off. Um, the Marineland suction cups are actually really, really nice suction cups and have infuriated me in the past and how difficult they are to get off. But that's a good thing. They're, they're great suction cups. That being said, a uh, Hydro Coralia is much less prone to falling off because of that magnet. Um, Uh, now, now a quick review on this. Uh, by the way, if you again, if you're looking for just a water mover, I recommend Hydro Coralias over these guys. Uh, the big advantage to this one is it's only a couple dollars cheaper, or uh, maybe it's like seven dollars cheaper for the the 1200 versus a 1200 Hydro. But um, the biggest advantage is you can use this as a return pump, whereas you can't use a Hydro Coralia as a return pump. So give me a second, I'm going to take this out of the water, turn it off, and show you just the different fittings that it comes with. Okay, first off, um, this is the suction cup. This, this, you can remove the power head without removing the suction cup, which is nice because like I said, once those are in place, they're kind of a pain to remove. Uh, so this is the power head. This outer enclosure comes off. Alright, so, uh, so that comes off. This impeller is just meant to be used with this as a water circulator. So it comes with two different impellers. For your standard power head, you know, I'm just gonna dump out the different stuff that it comes with. It comes with a bunch of different attachments. You've got your tubing for your venturi if you want to blow water. Uh, this is a reducer cup. These are actually really nice. What's, um, one of the advantages of one of these pumps is that you can use it for so many different things. So this is great when, for instance, you are using a sponge filter. You can, instead of using a sponge filter with an air pump, you can put, boom, stick that in, you're using a sponge filter, you're using a power head to run a sponge filter. Uh, I do that a lot, we do that a lot in the shop. It works great. Um, like I said, they, they, they come with a bunch of different fittings. But this would be your, your standard fitting. Uh, this just, you know, you pop it on. Uh, you would use it with this impeller. This is the standard impeller for moving water. As, uh, either water circulator. You know, you can put this little guy on. This goes on to there. Um, you can use a, as a water circulator that way. You can use it as, as a, just a return pump. Like I said, this... It does a great job. I'm not going to hook it up right now, but I was pumping water from this garbage can up to this tank up here. Uh, I want to say at least four and a half, if not five feet of head on it, and it was pumping like a champ. They've got other different attachments. Honestly, I don't know what this one does, but... You know, comes with a bunch of different stuff. For the price, these are good pumps. Uh, you know, you got one way, you got the other way, they're cheap, uh, this guy was, I don't know if you can see that, that's $33. Um, so yeah, there's my review on this guy, I like him. If I wanted to, I could put that right back onto a sponge filter, if not, I can use it as a power head, uh, I can use it for a turn pump, it's cheap, it's good. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I'll keep you updated on what I do with the 100 gallon and who won the contest and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Hope your tanks are doing well. Bye.